everyone you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and today I want to show you a quick watercolor painting that is sped up of me painting Frida which was a lot of fun to do I'm using Fabriano cold press paper which I have stretched first and then I have done a sketch of Frida on the paper first so I'm going to be using different colors which I will put all in the description so have a look there if you like my videos please subscribe Okay, let's get started. One of the first things I'm doing is I'm going to paint the background and so I'm just wetting the background to throw in some colour and I'm using here a blue and a green just to put a bit of a textured background behind her. So just blue, this is fallow blue, and I'm going to be using a little bit of green as well in between. Now I'm going to use a technique here uh, with um, Glad Wrap. And I have made a big mistake here and I got paint all over her face, but you will see that we fix that as the picture goes along. So what I've done here is pretty much put Glad Wrap over the top of the wet paint, then scrunched up the um, Glad Wrap and put it out to dry. And you can see you end up with a quite a nice background and I did get a blotch of blue on her face but we're going to cover this as we go along. For my skin tones I'm going to be using alizarin crimson raw sienna and a little tiny bit of ultramarine blue. Now I am going to uh, do little samples to see whether I've got the color I want and I'm fully wetting her face and her neck and her chest first and adding the lightest color. And you can see here I'm just doing it lightly because I'm going to do a, a couple of coats before I'm finished. So this is a wet on wet technique and I'm taking my darker color and just looking at where the shadows areas are on this image. So on her cheeks under her nose, under her neck, and around the outside of her hair. Now it is important to fully let this dry before we go to the next step. So I'm doing another coat now and I'm going to completely wet her face. This time I'm not wetting her neck. I'm going to work on them separately so that I get a nice shadow under the chin when I go to do the neck. And you can see here this time I have a little bit of more of the raw sienna so that I'm getting kind of a goldy skin tone to her. And again I'm just doing the same thing, adding shadows and there I'm adding a little bit of Payne's Grey in some of the shadow areas. I do like to dry in between my layers so before I go to the neck so that we don't have it bleeding from the face I'm letting it dry and I'm just working on this neck area to get the base coat on now. So it's really important that we dry between coats when we're trying to do this, this effect. And I, I do darken in stages. It's just my style or how I've um, tried to work out how to do it. And I'm just putting some little bits of detail in slowly. Now I have got that big blotch of blue on her cheek and I'm kind of going to hide that with a little bit of Payne's Grey and a bit of a shadow area so that you can't see it. It's a bit of a nasty mistake really. And you can see here I'm putting detail in and just adding colour. So I'm going to leave this now for you to watch the rest and have it on speed so you can see how the rest of it's done. Thank you very much and make sure you subscribe if you like my video.
So I hope you can see from this that there are so, so many layers to doing a watercolour portrait. I know some people can do it straight off, but it takes me a few layers. And I hope you enjoyed watching and give it a go as well. And if you like my videos, please make sure you subscribe because I've got lots more coming. Thanks. You're with Lucy from Aunt Shed Angel. Bye.